up, YouTube? My name's Jack Armstrong. They call me Jack Daddy. It is fantastic to see you today. We love Jesus, we love our family, and we love the outdoors, and we like to build things. So come along as we build things, come along as we try them out, come along and I'll show you how you can build them too. And don't forget, like and subscribe. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna show you how to build this ranger roof. So the first thing we wanna do is measure where the roof needs to go, first of all, how long it needs to be. And we want it to go all the way across the edge and all the way across the front and all the way across the back. And we're gonna bend the edges over uh, so it'll be right. So then what we're gonna do is lay our diamond plate upside down and then we're gonna lay out um, our measurements that we took off of there. All right, so I've got it drawn out on the bottom side of this plate, exactly how it goes. So you see it's gonna follow the contour of the roof that way. These outside lines are gonna be my cut lines. I'm gonna cut them with a plasma torch. These right here, I'm gonna use a grinder with a cutoff disc and I'm gonna cut just enough deep, just deep enough where I can then bend these outside edges. And then, uh, and then I weld up on the inside and uh, my corners will meet there They'll meet, this right here will meet with this front edge. These are all gonna be bends. So that way it'll follow the contour of my roof and uh, it'll be somewhat aerodynamic in the front. So we're gonna go ahead and get those cut. So now what we're gonna do, you can see I already got this one done. I did that a while ago while it was all one piece. Get you something like this, you can get something to clamp it on here with a long bar. And then right where you cut those channels, we're gonna bend it up. And this front one's gonna be less of a bend because that's what's gonna give us our aerodynamic. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these bent up. set up on the roof real quick and uh, you'll see right here what we did you see there's a hole right there so what we did is we come in here and we made us a mark and that's where we're gonna put our angle iron and our angle will sit down we'll weld it to here and it'll sit down and that's what it'll mount to we'll drill us a hole in our angle that way we'll be able to put a bolt from here to our angle we've got four different locations like that across the back side of this and that's what's gonna hold the back side of the roof on on the front side what I'm gonna do is these holes right here there's a couple of them we're gonna mark those out and then we're gonna weld a bolt to the bottom of the roof we're gonna put some rubber grommets in between the roof and the top and uh, that'll cut down on vibration and so them bolts will stick through this roof and then we'll just bolt it onto here and that'll hold the roof on the front side all right we got the roof back over here on the saw horses and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna weld up these corners where they meet on all four corners and then where we cut uh, the lines and we're gonna bend it up we're gonna weld that so we're probably not gonna weld it all the way across but we're gonna weld it here and there you know just to make sure it's good and strong it's gonna be pretty strong anyway so uh, we're gonna do that and then we got these little bolts that we cut off so we cut off some bolts and we're gonna weld those on our dots that we drew off and then we're gonna weld our mounting tabs for the back side of the roof where we mark those as well. So we're gonna weld all of it up and then we're gonna take a grinder, smooth off these edges 
where they're nice and smooth and then it'll be ready to give it one more test fit and then we will prime it and paint it. Okay, this beast is going to have a light bar on it, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make us a front rail that will kind of go out up and above the light bar to protect it, and then we're going to make some pieces that come off of it and uh, will be like side rails for the top, just in case we ever need to throw something up on top of the roof, uh, and it should look kind of cool, so uh, that's what our next step is going to be. The next step is to put these rails on here. It's just gonna protect my light bar and then again some rails on the side. So I got it where we need it. So this is what the underside looks like. There's our mountain solutions. We've got some angle with our holes drilled here uh, you see that's what's going to stand it up off the roof we're going to put a piece of plastic or a nylon in between that on the front we just welded us on some studs uh, right where they go all the way across and that's what's going to mount it to the bottom now what we're fixing to do is uh, get this thing painted so we're going to use u-pole raptor liner it's like a line x kind of All right, we're fixing to put this thing on. Let's drive to the touch. It's supposed to take like 24 hours, I think, or 48 hours to dry for real. So these little rubber bumpers uh, are what's gonna go over those studs that I mounted, and then that'll ride between the roof and the uh, Ranger. And that way it'll just give it, uh, it won't be rattling all the time. It'll be like a damper right there. So we're gonna put those on there, and we're gonna set it up on the roof. All right, so we got everything in there. You know, there's our mountain tabs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, a nylon washer and a rubber washer in between that and this, and then uh, bolt those together. We got four of them across the back, and then up here in the front, you can see uh, we just got our nuts, our, uh, yeah, our nuts onto those studs that we made. So uh, it's looking pretty good. We're gonna put some washers under these and some uh, uh, blue Loctite on there just to make sure they stay put where we want them. The last thing we gotta do is install the light bar.